Let's go live to Washington, D.C. now, where our correspondent, Nina Maria Potts, is standing by. Nina Maria, it's lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, what is the feeling tonight? There is a sense of growing confidence from the Clinton camp. Do you have any instincts about what's going to happen tomorrow? Well, I mean, first of all, the race is very nearly over. It's been a frenzied campaign. We're just a few hours now away from the polls finally opening. Uh, and it's been a nasty, bitter campaign, as we all know. In fact, the American Psychological Association has just released a report confirming what many Americans suspected, which is this has been a very stressful election. And stress is exceptionally high, apparently, among uh, Latino voters. Um, I think that's down to the fact that it may not be over even when it's over. Uh, mm. And certainly if it's a contested election, and at the moment Donald Trump is is threatening to contest it and not accept the final result. Uh, the polls are still tight. Uh, and even if Hillary turns out to be squeaking past the goalposts, even though the latest polls, the very latest polls suggest that she's doing much better than that in all swing states, the fact of the matter is that half of the country believes that she should be in jail and that she should be locked up. So it's very hard to imagine how America's next president even begins to speak the language of unity. Yes, boy, that's, uh, yeah, that's a predicament, isn't it, for her if she becomes president. Florida, I suspect, is going to be preeminent among the states uh, determining that. 29 votes. In 2000, they gave the election to Bush, despite the fact that he had fewer votes than Gore. It is, I think, by number, the fifth largest Hispanic state in terms of voter numbers. How is Florida going to go? Does anyone know? I think it's going to be exceptionally tight in Florida, a one point margin uh, by all accounts. Uh, today, across the swing states, there's been a mega push. Donald Trump uh, was in Florida, but also in North Carolina and Pennsylvania, New Hampshire. Uh, Hillary similarly has been crisscrossing the country. We heard in uh, your report just there that she was in Michigan uh, and she was out there trying to really persuade uh, voters that went for Bernie Sanders, who she lost to Bernie Sanders uh, in the primaries uh, earlier this year to come out and actually vote. Voter turnout is a huge issue. Uh, 44 million Americans have already voted in this mm. election. That's a record turnout in Florida and Nevada. Uh, Latino Americans appear to be persuaded by the Democrats. Asian Americans are also um, out in record numbers uh, and seem to be moving over into the Democrats camp. But again, as you say, it's very tight in Florida. Nina Maria Potts, uh, thank you so much. Joining us live from Washington, D.C., sounding uh, pretty exhausted like everyone who is uh, on the campaign trail. It has been a long, hard push.